hi guys so today i'm going to make try and make a socket client and server connection using node.js so i'm going to follow steps from here you can go check out this blog at beyondspirit.medium.com and please give me a clap because the next video will come when i get a clap I mean, it will come sooner if I get a clap. Okay, so let's get started. So I've just opened this folder. In this folder, I'm going to make. Uh, let's. I'm going to open VS Code. You can open your favorite editor. In VS Code, I'm going to make a new file server.js another file client.js as you can see two files are made here now going to paste the socket code here what is going on how, how does it Okay, doesn't work this way. So, I'm gonna go to view raw and copy. This was the server, so I'm going to paste it in server. There is a tab called the socket, copy and paste it in client. So let me try to explain whatever possible how it works. Okay, so it uses Express to create a server uh, an HTTP and it uses socket to make it live. You know, listen to continuous requests, messages to and forth, to and from. Uh, when it gets a connection, this function is executed. When uh, an event is received, uh, we, we name the event in the client. This part is not required. So basically, uh, this part is not required. We'll uh, explain it in the next part. But this is the one that is going to run console.log. So basically, it enters this function whenever there's a new connection and we will see what happens so we made the two files let's close vs code we won't need it anymore let's open two command prompts one for our server and one for our client this is our server to our client so let's just run it node server.js you'll see the error Express is missing. So basically before running we need to install these So let's install HTTP will most probably already be there. So I think you don't need to install it Let's install the other two Okay, let's try to run it again. Socket is missing in PM. Install socket.io. The socket is also installed. It should run without any issue now. Yeah, it is listening to the port 3000. Uh, because we have set this port, either this variable or this 3000 since this variable is not present just ignore this and you can directly set 3000 here if you have a fixed port now let's run the client so it will not run directly because it also has some dependencies like socket io.client Hello, client. 
Okay, it's done. Node client dot js. Now you will notice as soon as I press connect, press enter, it will pop up a message saying I have connected. Uh, I have connected because we have written here I have connected. So let's try it. Enter and we get the message I have connected because whenever a new connection happens, it en enters this fu function. And in this function, we pass the socket, um, but that is the discussion for another day. Basically, whatever code you write in this function will be executed. Maybe it's a code to add two numbers. Maybe we'll just add the numbers and print them. Anyway, so that is how it works. And when disconnected, it will uh, disconnect. And all uh, disconnection is a little difficult to show here. So I will show in a more to a proper setup because this socket uh, you know examples are difficult to set up so I'll show it in future until then goodbye so there's some this client side uh, nothing much you just have to give the URL you need to change the URL to where it, whichever URL and port the server is running in uh, this are just parameters you don't need to give them but in some cases you might need to for example in case of authentication so that's it uh, goodbye give me a clap so that i can make the next video uh, goodbye all